took place. Okay. <laughs> Looks amazing. Shelbs, today is the day our fairy tale journey hits our first huge milestone. Never would I have thought I'd be marrying the girl I walked home from Spain. Over our time, I've come to learn that you are caring, adventurous, sweet, thoughtful, and most important, I can be my complete self with. I've been looking forward to this day since the day I bought your engagement ring. While I know it'll be perfect, the most important thing is that I get to stand across from you at the altar and see you become my wife. My groom, I can't believe the moment I've been waiting for since I was a little girl is finally here. You're the best thing that could have happened to me. I was little, I always wondered how will I know when I found the one. Then I realized it would, make, it would be someone who makes me feel like home. Someone who would protect me, love me, and make me feel, feel like the most beautiful girl in the world. I didn't think you're all of that and more. I love you with all my heart. I'm so lucky to be your almost wife. <laughs> I love you, Brad. Thank you. love of my life and a big reason I am the man I am today. I love you and I can't wait to call you my wife. Shelves. I've had a hard time with this. Trying to express my love for you in a condensed manner isn't easy because there's so much about you that I adore. From the very first time I noticed you in your long red dress on our study of Rod Tripp and Spain, I always had a good feeling you were the beautiful blue-eyed brunette I longed for. From the first time I met you, I knew you were funny, ambitious, and sincere. I soon realized you were also compassionate, thoughtful, affectionate, and caring. And for that, I'm grateful more than ever. I remember when I was younger, my parents would always tell me, it's never too early to start praying for your future spouse. As a little girl, I remember asking God to send me someone tall, dark, and handsome. But as I got older, I prayed for someone with a servant's heart, someone who would be loyal and love me unconditionally. As I stand here today, about to become your wife, I realize that you're everything I've prayed for all these years. You've stood by my side on some of the best days of my life and in some of the darkest. I'm so grateful to have you by my side to support me, guide me, and love me. My biggest priority is to make sure you are happy and by the grace of God, I'll do anything in my power to make sure that a happy life, happy life cliche is existent in our relationship. <laughs> I love you and I'm excited to take on this journey of life with you.
Will you repeat these words after me? This ring is a token of my love for you. This ring is a token of my love for you. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. And all that I have to you. And all that I have to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, having pledged your love and loyalty to each other, and having sealed the pledge with the marriage rings, I do, with the authority vested in me as a minister in the Church of the Living God, and to the conformity of the laws of Tennessee, pronounce you husband and wife. Anthony and Shelby, you are no longer two independent persons, but you are now one in the eyes of the Lord. And what God has joined together, let no man separate. Anthony, you may kiss your bride. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Sigismund. They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. For the first time, I believe it to be true. All of my friends say. Let me free. 